So Exa kindly sent me another headset called H6. Now this one is actually has an ENC function, not an ANC. So in other words, it has an environmental noise cancellation that filters out the noisy surrounding sounds and highlights the clear human voice. So this is not really designed for listening to music or playing games, but nonetheless, we're going to actually use my brother here to check out some uh, sounds and also I'm trying to play some games to see how clearly you can listen to my voice and etc. But um, yeah, like you can use this for example, like a custom a call center or like manufacturing plants, um, warehouse, and if you're tr a truck driver as well, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this one. So um, enough said, let's get into the unboxing and all the tests. So here it goes. All right, so this should be pretty straightforward. So nice, look at that. Um, I've got something in the middle though, but first let's take out the headphone. Um, and we've got the pouch with a nice, this actually has a better um, pouch feeling than the other recent headphone pouch that I received. Um, and we've got some USB-C cable. Yes, it's, a, it's for USB-C anyway. And also the Bluetooth um, USB dongle there. And within inside the actual package, we got the instruction um, manual so i think this page will be one of the most important one this is just a you know some booklets of warning um, and so on but anyhow that's pretty much it so according to the manual you don't necessarily need that usb um, bluetooth dongle to be able to connect to this headphone but i think that's going to give you a better strength and clearer sound maybe but you could also do dual pairing but um, the actual headphone itself, you can see that this button actually is for do not disturb button. This one is for power on and off and also function button. So you could do next track or maybe something like that and volume up and down. This is where you actually plug in your USB-C cable to charge. And um, yeah, <clears throat> it's very light and uh, that's very good because it's for long-term use, left and right in case you get confused. Um, and also very good quality material indeed. I like this sort of black and also the aluminum trim on each edge to adjust the size of your head. And um, the, lastly, the microphone itself seems to be quite decent as well. So we're gonna do a sound testing on my bruv and also the gaming test as well. So here it goes.
have here is Samsung Galaxy S8 tablet that I actually pre-ordered that I was supposed to get it 10 days ago. But just like anyone else, um, I'm not a famous YouTuber. So Samsung uh, basically apologized saying that there has been a delay. So I didn't actually get it the day when it's supposed to be delivered. So here I am about 10, uh, more than 10 days of delay. I'm really excited about it because what I'm trying to do is focus on the architect's point of view because I know a lot of architects will need dual screen when they're actually moving about and also um, how well they could blend in with their survey tools or also whether I could actually replace this with my Remarkable 2 and etc. So that's what I'm going to focus on later on. So I have XR H6 and Sony XM4 simultaneously connected to my Samsung Z Fold 3 so I'm going to listen to the same track so here it goes. Okay the treble sounds are both pretty much the same That's very interesting. Okay, so the Sony XM4 obviously has a really good uh, beat sound. It's like bang, bang, bang. While as the XH6 sounds like the beat is professionally, deliberately cut out. And it's also very clear in some way, like a smooth, like a milky kind of sound. Um, but it, it's very interesting. It's something that I cannot explain unless you actually listen to yourself. And it's professionally cut out and yet very pleasant way to hear it because sometimes the beat, if it's too strong, it's like bang, bang, bang. While as the, uh, because the beat is cut out and the sharpness is, it's not only the treble sound, if you see what I mean. It's blended together, but well cut out. So I guess that's the strength about this so-called ENC. Okay, so I'm playing Starcraft 2 for the purpose of um, sound testing. And I can already sense the sound itself. It's not really the game. Um, Armed and ready. Yeah, the surrounding sound effect as a game. Who wants some? Lock and load! So I don't know whether you can hear that's fine. Yes, sir. Okay, so they're about to end. Oh, yeah. Nice. We'll do. Of... This better be good. What What's piece of me, boy? That? What do you try to listen to? What's up? Outstanding. What? So I'm actually on my um, YouTube page uh, trying to do a very quiet, no sound whatsoever on the background, purely for the mic test. Um, I, what I noticed is that this reminds me of the E900 Pro sort of mic quality. Um, I was expecting it to be better, but anyhow, I think the mic itself is good. Again, it wasn't really performing well because of the um, it's not designed for gaming. You could you could hardly hear me uh, what I was saying, but indeed, uh, all the gun sound has been filtered out to me on my headphones. But unfortunately, the microphone was not loud enough uh, to be filtered out for you to hear. But I'm sure on this case, with no background sound whatsoever, the mic itself is pretty clear. So that was a rather interesting experiment there. So um, it's not ideal for you to play games. Indeed, that's what was described on the box. Um, but it does do this sort of magic filtering out all the noise cancellation around you and trying to make your voice clear. Now, one thing I do find is that the microphone, there could be a bit of an improvement on the microphone, actually. There's another extra uh, review that is coming up um, by end of this month that is called Fenerea. This one actually has a really good microphone quality. While it, though this one looks similar to it, I think the microphone itself is weak. I'm still trying to figure out how uh, to actually enhance the volume level and so on as well. But overall, I mean, the headphone itself is very light and very comfortable. The cushioning on both ends is slightly thinner than the regular headphones that I use. I'm sure there's a good reason behind it, but this whole function about ENC, uh, just like what I explained on my um, previous video recently about Sony LinkBuds, even headphones have different purpose. 
like Sony XM4 generally is for music quality, like really good music quality. While as this one is for uh, like call center or like if you're a truck driver, you know, that sort of different purposes. There's no such thing as universal headphones, um, depending on how, how your lifestyle is, but I don't think call center headphones should be used for professional listening to music and so on. And I think that's why EXA has designed and produced this uh, model H6. So yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how this um, ENC works and it's quite an interesting function to have indeed. And I can see myself using this headphone uh, for Zoom calls, conference calls, business calls, because we've been doing that a lot since the pandemic and so on. So yeah, looking forward to use this and well done EXA for producing another unique separate purpose for professional use for working environment headphone called H6. So I hope this video clarify what the quality is, how the quality is about for this um, H6 is and different purpose why ENC needs to be applied and so on. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LCP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.